نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد وی شیل بی بگننگ ٹوڈے ود دی ففتھ سیکشن آف صورت الانبیاء اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد آتینا ابراہیم رشدہ من قبل وکنہ بہی عالمین اس قال لیبیہ وقومہ ما حاضہ التماثیل اللتی انتم لہا عاکفون قالوا وجدنا آبانا لہا عابدین قال لقد کنتم انتم و آباؤکم فی ضلال مبین قالوا وجئتنا بالحق ام انت من اللعبین صدق اللہ العظیم In the next two sections of this Surah Anbiya, we have a mention of so many prophets and also some of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have been having a list of the names of some of the prophets. We first of all had, and I said that it is a flower pot of the names of the prophets of Allah in Surah Al-Nisa, again at one position in Surah Al-Imran. But here it is going to be a bit in detail. But please be acquainted with two terms of Quran. Just as I have told you that in order to awaken and activate within the human being the dormant consciousness about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Quran either refers to the signs and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. التذکیر بے آلہ اللہ اور ریفرس ٹو دی ہسٹوریکل ایونٹس بگ ایونٹس بگ ڈیز وین یو نو دی بگ چسٹائسمنٹ کیم ٹو دی نیشنس ٹو ہوم دی میسنجرز ور سینٹ اینڈ دیٹ از کالڈ التذکیر بے ایام اللہ ان دی سیم وے دیر آر ٹو ٹرمس ریگارڈنگ دی اکاؤنٹس آف دی پروفٹس اینڈ رسول اینڈ میسنجرز آف اللہ ان قرآن One is Amba ur Rusul. Amba is the plural of Naba. Naba is, means a very important news, very big news. Amma yatasalun an naba il azim il lazihum fiye mukhtalifun. So Amba ur Rusul, under this heading we have the account of those messengers of Allah whose nations were destroyed totally. I have named several times. To begin with Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam, then Hazrat Hud, Hazrat Saleh, Hazrat Lut, Hazrat Shaib, Hazrat Musa. These six, their accounts are similar. They came to their nations. They called them to worship none except Allah and accept them as messengers of Allah. The nations as a whole rejected and rejected. Then as a punishment, they were devastated, annihilated. But there's another account of the prophets. You know, their personal virtues, their high moral character, their perseverance, for example. So all these things, but not that they came and they demanded that obey me and have faith in me. And if you don't believe me, you will have chastisement, not in that way. The most glaring example was in Surah Yusuf. In full 13 sections of that surah, the story of Hazrat Yusuf has been told in detail. But nowhere that matter comes. That if the, if the nation did not accept him, well, neither the king of Egypt accepted him as, as a prophet, nor the nation as a whole of Egypt adopted him. So, but they were not devastated, annihilated. Because he never claimed that I am messenger of Allah. So to be a prophet of Allah is something else. And to be a messenger of Allah is something else. So here you will find, you know, the mention of some of the prophets and the messengers also. Every messenger is definitely and necessarily a prophet also. Every prophet is not a messenger. But every messenger has to be a prophet first. And then actually he is selected And then he is assigned a job to a particular place or to a particular people. So here we find, you know, the mention and this account and some of the prophets and messengers of Allah, but not in the form of a Baal Rusul, but in the way of Qasatun Nabiyyin. These are the stories of the prophets. 
ولقد آتا نا ابراہیم اور رشدہ اینڈ وی ہیڈ گیون ابراہیم من قبل بفور آل دیز وی ہیڈ گیون ابراہیم ہز گائیڈنس و کنا بھی عالمین اینڈ وی نیو ہم ایبسولیوٹلی اس قال علیہ ابھی ہے نا وی ہیو دس مینشن واٹ حضرت ابراہیم سیٹ ٹو ہز فادر ان سورہ مریم آلسو ہیئر اٹ از ان سیکنڈ ان اے ڈفرنٹ وے اس قال علیہ ابھی ہے وہ قوم ہی جس ریکال وین ہی سیٹ ٹو ہز فادر اینڈ ہز نیشن ہز پیپل ما حاض ہی تماثیر التی ان تم لہا عاقف واٹ آر دیز امیجز دیز آئیڈلس ٹو وچ یو آر ڈیووٹیڈ یو سیٹ کنسنٹریٹنگ یور اٹینشن آن دیم کالو وجدنا آبا نا لہا آبدی they said we found our four fathers doing like this worshiping them so we are following them we don't know why what's the basis what's the rationale we don't know but we found our four fathers doing like this worshiping them so we are following them qala laqad kuntum antum wa abaukum fi zalim mubin now in very strong words ibrahim declared no not only you but also your four fathers they were in manifest error they were wrong their way and path that they, that they had taken was wrong qalu ajaitana bil haqqi am anta min al-laibin now they asked him have you brought some absolute truths to us or you are just joking maybe a young man is just joking no are you serious ajaitana bil haqq have you brought to us some absolute truth or you are just joking qala bal rabbukum he said no it's no joke your lord is rabb as-samawati wal ard the lord of all the heavens and earth alladhi fatarahunna who created them he is the lord of the heavens and earth and he is the creator of the heavens and the earth wa ana ala zalikum min ash-shahidin and i bear a testimony to this before you that i don't believe in any god except the lord of the heavens and the earth who is also the creator of the heavens and the earth wa tallahi la kidan asnamakum ba'da an tuwallu mudbirin and by god i'll devise a plot against your idols when you go out turning your backs there was going to be some big worship in the open field just you have in india durga puja or kali mai ki puja they go out in the field to make that worship so the whole city was now empty and ibrahim said i am not feeling well i am not going with you when the whole town was empty then he entered the there you know worshiping place where the idols were placed and he broke all of them except one so he said Allah, by God, by Allah, I will certainly devise some plot against your idols after you have gone away, turning your backs. Fajalahum jo zazan. So he broke them into pieces, fragments. Illa kabir Allahum, except the biggest idol. La Allahum ilahe yarjiun, so that they should refer to him, ask him who has done this. Kalu, when they came back and they were startled, what has happened? Just imagine if such an event takes place in the city of Mathura or the city of Banaras in India, what would happen? Kalu, man faala haza be aale hati na. Who is the one who has done this to our our Lord, our gods? In Nahula mina zwaale mean, verily he is a very big culprit. He is an evil doer. قَالُوا سَمِعْنَا فَتَنْ يَسْكُرُهُمْ Some people said, we, we heard a youth. He used to mention them. يُقَالُوا لَهُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ And his name is Ibrahim. He is called Ibrahim. He did use to mention them. قَالُوا فَاتُوا بِهِ عَلَىٰ عَيُنِ النَّاسِ They said, okay, bring him forth before the eyes of the people. لَا لَهُمْ يَشَدُونَ So that they also bear witness. قَالُوا أَنْتَ فَعَلْتَ هَذَا بِعَلِهَتِنَا يَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ And now they asked, before that mob is there alone, the mob is there, and how angry that mob have, would have been, we can imagine. 
حل فال تحاظ بے آ رہے تھے نا یا ابراہیم او ابراہیم ہیو یو ڈن دس ٹو اور گاڈس اور آئیڈلس کالا بل فال کبیر ہم حاضا فصل ان کانو جنتی کوٹ ہی سیٹ دس دس بگر ون مسٹ ہیو ڈن دس ہی سیف آل دی ادر آر بروکن سو یو آسک ہم ہی از اے وٹنس ہی مسٹ ہیو سین ہو ہیز ڈن اٹ اور مائٹ بی ہی ہیز ڈن اٹ بل فال کبیر ہم حاضا فصل ہم ان کانو جنتی کوٹ ناؤ اف دے اسپیک آسک دم فار اجا ہوں فسیم ناؤ دس از دی مومنٹ وین دی ٹروتھ ڈانڈ اینڈ دن سو دے ٹرن ٹو دم سلز اینڈ سیڈ و کالو ان نکم انت مظالم دا ٹروتھ آف دی میٹر از دٹ ایکچولی یو آر دی ایول ڈوئرس وٹ ابراہیم از سینگ از کریکٹ دے کانٹ اسپیک دے کانٹ موو دس بگر آئیڈل کوڈ ناٹ ہیو بروکن آل دس مالر آئیڈلس امپاسبل they can't move they can't talk and this one cannot tell us who did it and then we worship him then so the truth dawned on them but then summa nokis wala qulubihim but then they were made to hang their heads down saying laqad alimta ma haula yantaqur oh ibrahim you know these idols they can't speak qala fata'buduna min dunillahi ma la yanfa'ukum shay'un wala yadurrukum He said, then you worship besides Allah. These things who can neither give you any profits nor they can do, do you any harm. Uffil lakum. How disgusting. How disgusting. Uffil lakum. Walima ta'abudun min dunillah. And these whom you are worshipping besides Allah. Afala ta'akilun. So don't you ponder? You, don't you think about it? Don't you understand? Qalu harriquhu. They decided and said, Now burn him. Wansuru alihatakum. And help your gods. Because he has done this insult to the gods. So now he must be burnt alive. In kuntum fa'ileen. If you are going to do something. But when he was thrown in the fire, Qulna. We said to the fire, Qulna ya narukuni bardan wa salama lala Ibrahim. O fire, be you. A coolness and safety for Ibrahim. Because fire is under the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So any command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fire or water or air, these elements of nature have to obey. 